Stop worrying even before you start. Channeling July 5th, 2022. Welcome, welcome, dear human. We are so pleased to be with you again. We think that you could need some encouragement and some affirmation to guide you through these uncertain times where worry and anxiety come up again. Why do we repeat so often? And yes, we know that we've spoken about these kinds of things more than once, but you have to understand that repetition is needed before the human mind accepts something. We know how you work and we want to help you to remember things, even though you've most likely heard them before. Although we've shared many messages with you already, we still see people starting to worry again. So therefore we want to speak some words to you that you've probably already heard before. Worry and anxiety on the rise. We sense that at this moment in time, humanity is diving back into fear again, worrying of what is to come in the coming months. The restrictions that were imposed on you in 2020 have made an impact, and we see that many people are starting to worry, afraid that things will repeat and that you'll all have to suffer the same sort of experiences again. Be the one in control. Well, as we told you in our previous message, you are a sovereign being, and you can only be controlled by others if you let them control you. We encourage you to stay in your power and to ride this wave being in control yourself. Now we understand that many of you feel limited by financial problems, health problems, or other things that keep you tied into lack and limitation. We want you to be aware, or at least start to become aware, that you yourself impose those limitations on yourself. Self-imposed limitations. When you say, I'm not healthy, so it's easy for people that are healthy, but for me it's not. You are imposing limitations on yourself. You are no different than anybody else, and nobody is better or more valuable than you. If you say these kinds of things, it's a signal that you are giving your power away. You are giving your power to a disease or an illness. We're not saying that you will be instantly cured or healed when you step back into your power, but we are saying that by being a victim of any circumstance, you're not helping yourself either. Stop being a victim. It's up to you. You are the one that has to take the lead. You're in charge of whether or not you leave those desperate times and events behind you. So, whenever new rules and regulations are ordered from your government, you have to step into your power and know that you are a sovereign being, that nobody can order or boss you around unless you accept them doing so. We don't say that you have to start a revolution or that you have to literally start a fight. But this taking back your power starts in your mind. It's a mindset. And it starts by stopping being a victim. Drop the shackles. Don't be a slave. Don't let someone or something else be your master. Because then you are a slave. And that is so far away from your natural state. You are powerful. You are source. You are sovereign. And you chose this life to live, experience and have fun instead of being ruled by fear and worry. Go into your heart and find that there is the peace and the love that you seek. And stop blaming the world for things that seem to go wrong. Stop blaming your body for not functioning the way you think it should. Because blaming anything is giving your power away. We know this is a recurring theme. But it's one of the most important messages we could ever give you. So therefore, we repeat it as often as needed. You're always supported. We love you, dear human, and we want to tell you that you can always ask for help. Never think that you're alone, because you're not. Angels and guides are always there to support you on your human journey. We are the collective consciousness of all that is. We love you. We love you. We love you, and with that, we are complete.